Last time on Subnautica BZ, Mr. Spicy found the last body component for Alan. With the necessary materials in hand, he found the Architect Fabricator Base and was able to initiate the construction of a new body for Alan. Finally, with Alan in his own body and out of our hero's head, Mr. Spicy was left with the choice. Continue to help Alan or return to the quest for answers regarding Sam and the Altera researchers. Now, Mr. Spicy must make his choice in today's conclusion of Subnautica BZ. Welcome everyone to another round of Subnautica Below Zero. We are here right below the uh, dock that's, you know, for the fire robotics because we have a choice now. We either go ahead and help Alan and disappear from the planet, not to worry about our sister and what she was doing, or we go help our sister finish her research or do something with that. And on the map, which I didn't notice this in the, the room when I scanned it, there is a little circle right here around that spy pingling. I mean, there's our spy pingling spots, but there's a little circle there close to that dock. You know, what used to be an early access, the dock where we would come up to over where the actual Stoke Fox base was. But it's also very close to the Leviathan base. So we're going to head over here, check that out with our spy pingling. And because of where it's located, I really don't need the prawn suit. I just need my cold suit. So because some of you may be jumping into the series right now in the middle with this episode, quick and dirty aspect of it is we're right here by the fire robotic base. We're up here. We're going to take this ladder. And from the ladder, I am running straight across to that little division in the cliff walls. Now I'm just going to follow this pathway uh, until I reach the end. And by the end, I mean this little pool of water where I'm going to dive in and I am going to follow the pathway. There's a little area over there but we're gonna go to the left and follow along until we reach the surface again and climbing up out of the water we're inside a cave and out of the cave into the open air again and basically we are now right here we're in this little spot so if i go straight pretty much i'll reach that base we're gonna wrap it around over to here and find that little spot so I went through, I think, this little cave right here, and I've come out right here. So I pretty much should be able to go around the same area uh, up there and come here. I just wouldn't be as low, it looks like. And the fact that there's a cave over here sounds like it's a good place to go because it's close to where that little icon is, where the marking is on the map. And yeah, well, you know, some silver and copper ore. I always grab a few things there. And we've got a mama and some baby. Oh, is that? That looks like even smaller baby and mama's after me. And hey, you don't like that. What's that? Snow stalker fur. Okay. You just, you're shedding surprisingly because it is kind of, uh, it's still cold. Ah, this may be it. This looks like the spot because it's right here by a piece of frozen river and a little overpass. Well, uh, granted, it looks like that would be a much more significant little overpass on the drawing, but it's, it's not. Dropping off Pin George. Pin George. And oh, did I accidentally like drop that? I think I, I did. I dropped the control. I did. I dropped the controller. How did I drop the controller? That's, that's not good. I was I dropped the controller. I can't pick it up. Okay, that is a uh, bug. So yeah, I accidentally dropped the controller and I cannot pick it up. It only lets me pick up snow. So that is a bug. Guess I'm going to reload from my save point and come back here. Well, I'm back, but we've got a little guest deciding to come in here. Yeah, that's right. You get, get, I'm going to set you on fire. That's right. All right, yeah, this time... I'm in control. Ready for uh, my yep. assignment. Your assignment is to not fall as I drive you in. How about that. And pick up that quartz. And maybe that quartz. And oh, yo, uh, uh, magnetite. Yeah, we'll definitely get that. Now, better not be. I, I used too much room up. Sam must oh. have stashed this here. Yep. I heard a snow She's stalker. She's going to use this antibacterial agent to neutralize the bacterium. Uh-huh. Up. 
I'm not being attacked. That's a good thing. But it's not like he doesn't want to try. He's kind of there with the the flare. Where'd it go? I can't see the flare. I don't. Oh, there it is. I was about to say I. Uh, I know it's here somewhere. Ah, ha, ha, get away. All right, we're going to take the antidote, which is just a, you know, cosmetic container. That's really all it is. I'm there. I'm there. Look, look, see? Yep. Yeah, got you. Ah, ha, ha. Baby. Take it, the baby. And before I leave gonna do some searching around so we got the other dock here and oh yeah the the cave system here pretty sure th if this is the same as it used to be it's a very twisty turny uh type of cave system like a maze but there's a lot of it let's see where does this come out at i know we got o2 there too all right so it's the same as it was previously in early access it still is like just a lead around to a bunch of different locations uh, with, you know, Altera stuff there. Places that they were exploring and putting up stuff. And I think I recognize this spot now. Get away! Get get away! Try right. Go. Go. Get out. Go. Jump. Off the edge. Off the edge. Off the... Go. Go. Get off. Get out of here. Shoot. There. There we go. He jumped. Another spot for the spy pingling. Since I, you know, popped over here, let's just drop him off and send him on his way. All right, buddy. Be careful. You're on a ledge, and I don't want to have to go after you. Uh, magnetite? Sure. Yeah. Uh, that's it? Like, one magnetite and some quartz? That's... A ripoff. It's like the least useful one I've found yet. All right, now there's daytime again, and uh, I can see you a little bit better. Robotics landing pad, sea truck, all that. I have come basically all the way around again. I'll we'll go back and look at the uh, the map. Where was it? There it goes. Yeah. So basically, I went over here and I took that cave, and I ended up back over here. Uh, for reference away so yeah you could go the other way and swim through the cave to get there and do that it's, it's really your preference on which way you want to go and no you're not mr snow stalker go away now really what i should have done instead of continuing to wander around in the other direction was just come right back here since i was so close and taking care of this so i'm going to do that now but i technically took a much longer path back around to here all right, we've got our injectable container that looks a lot different when I'm holding it than it did in the inventory. I wish it would actually have looked like that in the inventory. Uh, so we got that. I said we're going to go here and hit this. And it's just autopilot. It'd be great if I had actually been able to control it, like, you know, left, right, aim it in. But, you know, that's easy enough right there. Watching it go in. So that was your tetanus shot. Oh man! I the antibacterial agent was That's fast. Without it, the bacteria could have spread. All right. Now it cannot. Your sister's memory will live in you through this gesture. All right, I'm confused. Doing this one last thing for Sam. I'm confused. Are we hearing Alan inside our head, or is he communicating to us through like an earpiece or something now? Because this sounds like he's in my head. But is last time, solution. I got him By into his own body. Knowing that even though it still hurts, it'll be okay. I did what I came to do. Uh-huh. I found out what really happened to her, and yep. I got to finish her work. She died. I learned a little bit more about the person I've looked up to for, well, my whole life. I wish I told her that more. Sam always wanted to make a difference. She wanted the bacteria contained to keep everyone safe. I'm grateful to give her that. I just wish I could have said goodbye. So yeah, that's... It's interesting because, you know, in other cases, when Alan was in our head, we'd get that little phone call notification and have to answer it like we're getting a call. 
and other times he'd just chime in while he was still in our head but he's not in my head anymore i got him out last time and into his own body and that was sounding like he was right there with me so either he is talking to me through an earpiece or that shouldn't have gone that way he should have it should have had a little bit more of a sound of like a call you know like there's a call notification or something like that because that made it seem like he was still in my head despite me putting him into his own body oh well whatever that's done we finished our business here with our sister let's go see alan all right alan what's up are you preparing to leave yeah. alan? Uh, yes preparing Very to leave to all right he's leaving us uh what was the deal with that like what was that oh it's like a power thing okay i don't know why you'd have like little fingers to manipulate the energy that's that's a little strange but all right whatever i'm not gonna question and uh yep what we got going what's, what's happening dude with me beyond this teleporter there oh. is no returning back Are okay you kidding i can't pass up a chance to see where architect yeah from. besides sure. i don't have another ride it's a good I point know you know we i crashed on the way in so the others may be sick or angry if they live at all Oh no. Or you could find peace. Family. And at Come least on. you got me in the end either way, Please right? Any business you still have on this planet. Oh. Join me on the other side when you are ready to leave. Okay. Uh so right there it's not a uh, you have to finish like oh you haven't completed this. It doesn't feel like that's kind of the intention like oh you need to attend to your sister's business. There's no mention of that. It's, if you have unfinished business, complete it, then see me. There's no coming back. So I feel like this is a case where if you do want to finish the story and you haven't, you can as far as the thing with the sister. Uh, or if you just want to keep playing for a little bit. I've got one thing I'm going to do real quick. All right, Alan, I'm coming to hang out with you. What I've done is I went and got some memorabilia. I got Robin Potato. I got Sam and Danielle. And I got Sam's necklace, you know, because if we're not coming back, we might want to keep sake for our other sister's stuff. We're going to go through the teleporter. And, okay, there we go. Oh, ah, what, what's... All right, is this the home world? Are we there? Are we there yet? Uh, you're, this looks like not Robin the home world. Phase gate. So we're still on the same planet. And we're still in the same area because it's icy. Only for the last millennium. Oh. It will lead us home. Okay. No wonder you Wait, hate yourself lead Montero. you home? That's not it my home. It's to keep the home world safe. Mm -hmm. It hopes that the others survived. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Big, big thing in the sky. <gasps> it's a transformer. So like this is where space balls come in and it's mega made energy masks must be moved into place oh energy mask okay oh well, oh hey this is different oh so you want me to do it huh uh okay wait wait you jumped down there why can't you just take care of it oh look f8 to report bugs and feedback that's interesting that acts like it's a new game load because that happens about a minute or so into loading a game. Save, and that's that, is that like I just load a save? I hope it didn't overwrite my save point. Oh, oh, I messed up. I'm not used to these arms yet. And apparently they're letting me float too. Cause I'm pretty sure I didn't just like walk over top of that. Did he give me? Yeah, I'm floating. Look at that. I, yeah, my, I'm floating. Okay. He you, he could have helped me out with this earlier. But like, hey, I'm going to give you a couple arms to help you for a little bit. All right, oh, oh, okay. A little different. So we have... I wonder if the animation is, is just static. So like this one, no matter which one you do first, that one, you're Remember, almost going to drop on you. And that one, you almost me, drop off the edge. I feel like that's gotta be what it is. All right, come on. Kind of like the return arms. Oh, he didn't want me to keep them very long. 
I'm, I'm, there is no time for you. It's like, here's a little taste of it. Give them back. Maybe somebody can mod <laughs> to give us the arms as a buildable option. That would be cool. All right, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Oh, I like how it's got to detail out that. Uh, why does he look oddly like he's a Dragon Ball Z villain powering up <laughs> at that point? Like all these pillars of stuff, rock or whatever, going around him. It's like Frieza powering up, trying to look impressive. Join me, Robin. All right. That difference in the, the voice tone there, that sounded like a radio type communication. There was a little different tone to it. So when I was there at the Leviathan curing it, it sounded like he was still meant to be inside my head. So I think I did it out of order, actually. And it doesn't seem like the devs set it up. Yeah. Voice sounds different. So I feel like that should be changed at the Leviathan part. And he is, is uh, permanent? nothing is permanent. All right. So he's part of the ship now. Yeah, sure. Could sure. Uh, where, where's my seat? Ready to leave the past behind. Where's my seat? Uh, brace yourself and we'll depart. Where's my seatbelt? Got a seatbelt for me. Oh, no. Just brace myself for launch. Yeah. Let me stare at you. Wait, no, three, bad idea. Bad idea. Two, yeah. Turn the other way. One. Seems like you want to look out the window, which if he's part of the ship, why does he even need a window to look out of? I mean, he's obviously piloting it through some other mechanical electronic means. All right. I like this, a different teleport type look to it than just the same thing as the portals. It's more like a wormhole. No, uh, metal plates. All right, so not like a uh, knockoff of so many sci-fi things with the wormholes. What will we find when we get like there? Like Stargate. <laughs> uh, I will experience the sorrow of 10,000 souls, Timmy. Just 10,000? Come on, when Alderaan was destroyed, that was like a million people crying out at once. <laughs> right? It was like billions. I saw a lot of architects still left alive then. All right. Oh, no, here we are. Okay. Second phase gate got us here. Uh, and if they survived? With you, I am ready to face whatever it oh. is. I can't tell if their stuff is just askew on the architecture or if it was actually like something like wrecked. <laughs> Like some stuff was at a weird angle. And oh, that's it. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's the game. So, you know, story wise, it's definitely more focused and below zero than Subnautica. Much more streamlined as far as what you're supposed to do. It's not a bad story, and it does end in kind of the way that I was feeling and i said this for a while in early access i expected in the end it would be kind of like in prometheus a bit we're gonna go to the home world whether it's by a ship or some other means we're gonna help alan and he's gonna take us to the precursor home world so we can see it and that might could tie into a third game might not kind of thing but we did end up doing exactly that we helped him he offered us to come with him see the precursor home world i guess he thinks of us as a friend now you know we're, we're friends with an alien He's got some, he's got really buff arms. So that's kind of cool too, you know, but overall it's, it's not the same feel as Subnautica, but below zero is a good game in its own right. If you were trying this for the first time without playing the original, it stands alone on its own as far as the game, the story being distinct. Uh, but coming from the first game, I, I feel like there could have been a stronger tie to the first game than we got with it more of a tie to the actual story which we're supposed to be seeing another game a more proper direct sequel now coming from the first game to that point with this kind of being like a 1.5 or something i guess i don't know but that's it that's the game and normally i would have kept playing but you know I've, I've got over 250 hours in the game just from early access alone i have done a lot of building in the game 
vanilla style. So it's time to just get the story out of the way. Move on to something else. But that is it for this episode. That's it for this series. So if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're just seeing this for the first time as far as the ending, what do you think of it? Sorry, I spoiled it for you if you were not wanting it spoiled. And if do you like it better? Do you like it worse? Do you just hate the ending? How do you like it? Leave me a comment below. And of course, hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I'll see you in the next video.